So let's get started on the first medication, which is Volistim. Um, so this will come in this handy little pack for you. Um, and unlike the Gonalef, it comes with a pen that you'll need to put your cartridge into. So if you see when you open it, this is a blank cartridge with nothing in it. You'll just see a little plunger on the inside. And it comes as like a screw off top like this. So you'll need to take your medication. So that is this. You can see, sorry, it's a little bit blurry. You'll put the blue side down into your cartridge. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Push the plunger in and then it's screwed on. Okay, and then each of these comes with uh, separate needles that you'll put on. So you'll take um, this cap off. You'll see that it has a little um, a pointy thing at the end. You will put this onto the end, screw it on tight, and then dial up to your specific dosage. So let's say that your dosage is gonna be 300. So you're gonna dial this window, sorry, it's a little hard to see, until it reads 300. Blurry, but that's clear that it's 300. And then you're ready to basically take the top off and do the injection. So this is my fake skin. So you're gonna clean your target skin, take the top off. Okay. You're gonna do two finger widths or so away from the belly button on either side. Pinch your target skin, inject the needle straight in. Once it's in, you're gonna push the plunger down until this reads zero release, and then the medications administered. Okay. And then you can put this cap on to safely take the needle off, twist it off, and then put it in your sharps container for disposal. And each of these pens come with 900 units in total. So if your daily dose is 300, each pen is good for three days. So you put a new replaceable needle on every day before you give yourself the injection. The next drug is Ganarelix. So this is the Ganarelix acetate injections, the 250 microgram syringe. This one's pretty easy. It comes pre-filled. So you'll just take the top off. And then you'll notice here, there's some air in between the top of the needle and the actual medication vial. So you need to pull down on the plunger to kind of loosen it. You'll push up very slowly until you see the first medication bubble come out at the top of your syringe. All right, so see that medication coming out. Now you know the needle's primed. You're not gonna inject yourself with any air. You can slowly recap it just to uh, lay it down flat and prepare your injection site. So same thing, clean your target skin. Take your needle. Let's say we wanna do it on opposite sides, um, just in case on the very off chance that you have a reaction to one of the medications, you know which one was injected where. You'll pinch your target skin, inject it straight in, push the plunger down, release, and then you can toss this entire thing in the sharps container as well. And once the medication's administered, we recommend waiting three to five seconds just to count down to make sure that no lingering medication is um, sitting in the syringe. Okay, any questions about the can of relic? Okay, 
So we can move on to the third medication, which is Menopure. So I'll show you how to reconstitute one powder vial of Menopure. The dose may change from person to person depending on their own ovarian reserve, um, but I'll show you just a one-to-one -one reconstitution. Okay. So each box of Menopure comes looking like this. It's five water vials and five powder vials. So again, we're gonna show you how to reconstitute just one powder vial. So you'll take your vials of the water, powder, and you'll flick these caps off and you can put them in the sharps container. And then um, there are two ways that you can mix your Menopure. One, using a long needle that will come in your package of medications or you can reconstitute using the Q-cap, which I think is a little more patient friendly. So I'll show you with that method. So this is the Q-cap. So you're gonna take the covering off of that. It has a little pointy end here that you're gonna attach to the top of your water vial. Okay, so this is your water. You can push that straight on and then use that as leverage to take the plastic off. And you're gonna take off this long needle because we're not gonna use this for reconstituting. So you can just put this in the sharps container if it came that way. Some people will just get syringes like this with no needle attached to it. So you're perfect, ready to go with this. So we want you to pull out some air into the syringe to create a suction. We usually say to draw up to about the one ML line. Um, but any bit of air is okay. You're going to attach the syringe to the top of this Q-cap, push the air in to create your suction, and then you're going to invert the vial and draw out the water until it reaches this 1ml line. And again, you can pull a little bit more than 1ml if you feel like you need to get some leverage or get some more of the liquid into the vial. If you see any of these air bubbles, you can kind of flick the vial and we can do that at the end as well. But so you want this to be filled to the 1ml line. And now that it is, you can take this off, Q-cap and all, and now you're done with this water. And it will come with two mLs total. Again, you're only drawing to the 1ml line, so they overfill it a bit. So now you can put this in the shop container. You inject this 1 ml into your powder vial. So push all of the water into the Menopure powder. You can just give it a little bit of a twirl. You can look in the bottom here to make sure there's no white sediment or nothing that's been um, not dissolved yet. So you can see what I'm looking at. And now you're going to pull the entire contents of this vial out. And again, it may end up being a little bit less than 1 ml when you pull it out as well, since the powder is absorbing some of the water. So now that this is all taken out of the vial, you can take this entire thing off, Q-cap and everything, put that in your sharps container, and then you're going to attach your half inch needle for the injections. This is the 27 gauge half inch needle. So take this out of the plastic, attach it, twist it tight. And then you'll, so you'll want to do something similar like what we did with the Ganarelic. So you want to push up slowly until you see some of the medication come out at the top of the needle so that you know it's primed. If you see any air bubbles like this, you can just aggressively flick them out, they will go away. So now the needle's primed, you're ready to do the injection. Same process. We'll clean the target skin. Pull out and away from you so you don't accidentally stab yourself. Um, and then same thing, two finger widths or so away from the belly button on either side. Pinch your target skin inject straight in, push all the way down until the black part is in line here, hold three to five seconds, 
and then release. So you wanna make sure there's no liquid or anything left over. And then you can toss this entire needle and syringe and then you'll start with the fresh batch the next day. Any questions about Menopure that I can help answer? So again, that was a one-to-one -one dilution. You may be instructed to take two powder vials a day, three powder vials a day. If that's the case, that first step or the same, you still have one ml from the sodium chloride or the water. You put that into powder one. And then when you pull everything out from powder one, instead of doing the injection, you're gonna put that entire reconstitution into a second powder, third powder, fourth powder, whatever your dose is tailored to your physician preference. Okay, so if there's no other questions, I can end. Um, here.